Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am in my third and final year and actually my final semester of a Doctor of Physical Therapy program. I will be graduating this upcoming May and I am so excited. Today I'm going to be filming a productive study day in my life. I filmed these a lot when I first started my channel and then I kind of got away from it, but today I'm going to be sitting here at my desk literally all day because I have a few different things I need to do. First of all, I am trying to get my case report published, which I talked about in one of my previous vlogs. I had to present a final case report for my research course, and my professor told me I should seek out publication because she liked my case report. So I need to finish filling and submit a form for that. I need to study for the board's exam, which I'm taking in April for like three or four hours, and then I'm going to study and review my pelvic floor notes and start preparing for my pelvic floor clinical rotation which starts on Monday so that's what I'm going to be up to before I get started I wanted to show you guys my desk setup because it's really cute and really satisfying and it's motivating me to actually want to sit down and do work because I've been on winter break for quite some time so you gotta find motivation somehow right <laughs> all right so starting over here I have my glasses I have my phone in this little holder so it's easily accessible all of my favorite pens, markers, highlighters, all of that. Water, of course. This mug is so cute. My friend Jillian got it for me as a Christmas gift, and it is from shop DPTEE, -E, two E's. I will link it down below. So cute. Then I have my little storage cubes with miscellaneous random things in it. Of course, a chapstick and hand lotion nearby. My little chicken. It's a prolapse chicken, if you don't know. Um... I got it at CSM last year, but sometimes I just like to play with it when I'm sitting here. My laptop stand and my cute keyboard and mouse, which I recently got for Christmas. I'm obsessed with the noise it makes when I'm typing. And of course, my best purchase ever, actually it wasn't a purchase, it was a gift. My best gift ever, a little mug warmer for my coffee. So like I said, the first thing I'm going to do, because it's a little bit shorter and I can knock it out quickly, is finishing up my research little form for my IRB, which is, I'm pretty sure it stands for like Institutional Review Board, something like that. Basically to make sure your study is ethical and okay to get published. So finishing that up so I can email it to my professor and then get on with my NPTE studying. form it is now about 11 so for the next two hours I'm going to be switching gears and study for the boards if you watch my last vlog I kind of talked about my overall study plan but it has changed as of now what I'm doing like I said I am doing the 12 week final frontier course and I already do have the login and once you get your login you have it like for a year from when you purchase the course however I originally in my last vlog said I was going to start it early so I could finish it early and then kind of study my week areas beforehand like with the last few weeks before the exam in the end of April however I went to start that yesterday and watched like the first video on Final Frontier which was a two hour long intro um intro video just kind of talking about the layout of the course and all of that and it really is designed to like take you up to test day and it's like very set like on this day to do this so I figured I would just wait and start it when I'm supposed to the end of February because I don't want to like make it too complicated or anything so I do want to be completely honest with you guys I plan on using NPTE Final Frontier all along to study for the NPTE because it came highly highly recommended to me by friends and people I've seen on social media as well as people that I know in real life so I was planning on purchasing it entirely with my own money it is pretty pricey but I personally felt like it was going to be worth it if it was going to be a structured plan with here's what you do every day for me personally I feel like that just takes a lot of stress and stuff off of my plate so I was about to purchase it with my own money and then I did email Final Frontier seeing if they potentially would want to collaborate on my channel and they said yes so they actually did provide me with the independent study bundle to use and kind of review for you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know and I wanted to thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching 
watching my videos because this would not be possible without any of you guys so thank you so much i'll keep you guys updated and provide my honest and true true opinions as we get started in february here but for now until my cohort starts in february it's just me and my my new bestie here i'm going to try to do like two or three hours every other day in this book which this is the score builders book and it is the pt exam complete study guide and basically what I plan to do, I've been told by many people, do not just try to read this whole book front to back. So in certain sections, like I just flipped to Neuro, for example, they have these categories. So like gold, if you can see that there. And I'll show you guys when I flip around to you. But basically there's like gold, silver, and bronze. And gold are like neuro conditions that frequently show up on the NPTE. Like this one I flipped to as a neuropathic ulcer. So it's kind of all about that and everything you should know about that so my new and updated plan is to try to go through all the gold silver bronze things the things that are like most commonly seen on the NPTE this month before my final frontier course starts so I'm gonna start with musculoskeletal try to get through as much as I can today just reading through and I plan to type out on a Google Doc on my laptop kind of the main key points make a little mini study guide very condensed down that I can print out and have kind of more manageable like these are the important musculoskeletal things to know rather than this huge giant book so and I also updated my little calendar here with the goal of getting through the musculoskeletal neuro cardiopulm and other systems gold silver bronze categories and knowing them super well by the time my 12 week final frontier cohort begins the first week of February so very happy with this and it's nice and motivating right by my desk. It is 1.09 so it is a little over two hours later and that took so much longer than I was expecting. So I'm about four pages in. I got through five of the main gold diagnoses, but this took way too long. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this for all of them. So I think what I've decided to do is I'm only going to type out the gold diagnoses because those are the ones that are like pretty much guaranteed to be on the exam. And then the brown silvers like might be on the exam. So those I think I'll just skim within the book itself and I'm only going to type out the gold ones. So I'm a little under halfway done. So tomorrow and the next day, Hopefully I can put a few hours in and finish it up so I have this nice little study guide that I can quickly reference like in my studying later or like closer to the exam date. I'm going to get some lunch and rest and then start reviewing my pelvic notes in maybe like an hour or two once I am refreshed and ready to go. Hello guys, I'm currently in my very festive living room. We have not yet taken down our Christmas decorations, but I am so excited because I just opened the cutest package ever from my friends at Bagsmart. Bagsmart is a super affordable bag company and they have tons of different bags, duffel bags, tote bags, backpacks, and they are all so, so cute. I had such a hard time picking out which one I wanted for their website and they are super, super affordable as well. And I do have an additional 15% off coupon code for you guys. The discount code is just Kristen15 and I will put it on the screen here. You guys can get 15% off if you want to get a bag of your own. Are you guys ready to see it? Oh, it is such a cute duffel bag and I have not gotten a new duffel bag since I got like my Vera Bradley duffel bag in middle school and it is pink with cute gold detailing and it has like two straps here so you can hold it like so. Honestly, I feel like this would be a good gym bag too. It's like giving off gym bag vibes. And then of course it has a strap here so you can wear it like through the airport or whatnot. I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you more of the detailing because it has so many amazing pockets. You like the back? Yeah. I think he thinks it's his carrier because it's kind of like the same shape as like his dog carrier that he flies in. Literally just took it out of the box so it's still a little bit kind of flattened down but it is this beautiful pink color like I said and it has this beautiful gold zipper here where you can hold stuff in, a nice little pocket there, the Bagsmart logo and the tag. Coming over to the side here there's also kind of a little water bottle um, spot there. And also on the other side, very convenient to like slip your phone in if you're in the airport. 
coming into the big pocket here. It did come with a shoe bag if you wanted to like put your shoes in it, which I thought was a good idea because you don't want to get your bag dirty. And then on the inside, there's all these amazing pockets to put various toiletries and stuff in. And then there also is this little pocket as well, which is like plastic, also great for like shampoos and stuff. Lots of space in here for clothes. And then my favorite part is in this pocket here. There's literally spots to put your shoes. Like literally you can fit probably like two pairs of shoes in these little pockets here. And this is kind of padded here so you could put like your laptop or your iPad or whatever and it will be nice and safe. And then on the back side, it's the same as the front. There is just another little gold pocket. Absolutely love it. And Teddy loves it too. Right, Ted? Okay. There is Teddy again, serving up his looks, being in the vlog, and his blanket. Ted, come here. <laughs> all right, I laid out all my stuff here I wanted to share with you guys. If you didn't watch my vlog where I took this course, I took the Herman and Wallace Pelvic Floor Level 1 course, which basically is t teaching you how to do a vaginal exam and treatment and evaluation of an individual with pelvic floor dysfunction. So I have out my lab manual from that. I spent a lot of time yesterday going through it and I rewatched the 90 minute lecture about kind of how to do an exam. So today I think I'm going to focus more on reviewing different treatment techniques. And I wanted to show you guys these cute little graphics that I printed out and put in like laminated paper. I found them online and I thought they would be really helpful to bring with me to clinic just to have like if I'm talking with a patient to say about like the normal anatomy of the pelvic floor or if they have a certain type of prolapse, cystocele, rectocele, uterine pro prolapse, I can whip this out and hand it to them and explain it and have kind of a nice visual for them to make it seem less daunting, a little more cute. This is a really good graphic showing kind of how your breath and your diaphragm and your pelvic floor should work together. Also a great visual. This is a visual of the grading of different types of prolapse. In here, I printed out a pelvic floor history questionnaire I found online. This is more so for myself to have during evals to make sure I'm asking all the right questions, but I can link it if any of you are interested. But this is, again, just more so for me. I'll probably reference it during my first few evals while I'm a little rusty. Teddy, get off the prolapse thing. So let's sit down and study and listen to lectures and then... Probably call it an early afternoon and do a little bit something for me because I've been productive today so far. So we just gotta grind it out and then we can relax because technically I'm still on winter break. So I deserve a little bit of rest for the rest of the day. Hello friends, it is currently 5.08 and I just finished studying for the day. I've been reviewing my pelvic pain notes, urinary incontinence notes, diastasis, recti notes, and overall just kind of reviewing some general treatment strategies for my rotation that starts on Monday. So I'm done with my schoolwork for the night. My mom just asked me to run to Target to pick up some things for her and I'm also going to pick up dinner for us while we are out because the rest of my family is going to the Flyers game tonight and we're just staying home, hanging out, and relaxing. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this productive study school day in my life and I hope it gave you some motivation or inspiration to study if you are in physical therapy school or even if you're not. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for your constant love and support on my channel and I will talk to you guys next Saturday. Bye! Like